Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the top 10 best gunsmith loadouts to use in Season 10 of Call of Duty Mobile, so let's go ahead and get started. Starting with number 1, we do have the M13 Morningstar variant, and the M13 obviously. Talking about the gunsmith build, right away we're going to be rocking with the Monolithic Suppressor, the RTC Combat Stock, the OWC Laser Tactical, Large Extended Mag B, Granular Grip Tape. This gunsmith build hits home in all departments. It works wonders. Make sure to use it. All right, moving on to loadout number two. We do have the PP-19 Bison. The PP-19 Bison did receive a buff this season, which makes it a much more substantial SMG to use inside of Call of Duty Mobile. So therefore, we're going to put it in this list. Talking about the gunsmith build for a moment, we do have the Monolithic Suppressor, the OWC Marksman, the OWC Skeleton Stock, Large Caliber Ammo A, OWC Laser Tactical, the best gunsmith build to use by far. You definitely want to make sure you're rocking with the mono suppressor and the marksman so that way you get that nice range efficiency boost because of the large caliber ammo tends to decrease that range efficiency. And you're going to want to pair with the OWC skeleton stock so that way you get that nice ADS boost paired with that skulker perk boost. Phenomenal build to use overall. Moving on to loadout number three, we do have none other than the M16. The M16, you know, experienced a massive change this season, which introduces a brand new weapon skill perk that will make the gun fully automatic. Um, so going over the gunsmith build really quick, we are going to be rocking with the mono suppressor, the classic red dot side, the OWC laser tactical, the 48 round extended mag, and the granular grip tape. The only thing that you're going to want to change with this specific gunsmith build is remove probably granulated grip tape and then equip the wildfire perk which is going to fully switch this to automatic which is going to fully switch this to an automatic rifle moving on to loadout number four uh we're going to be rocking with the kilo the kilo 141 demon song specifically the mythic variant this is obviously a staple art asl rifle inside the game hasn't been nerfed at all very well used in all of the modes in the game and it's one of the most heavily used guns in the game talking about the gunsmith build really quick mono marksman OWC Laser Tactical, Large Extended Mag B, Granular Grip Tape, phenomenal build, make sure to use it. I've recommended this build in all my videos. Moving on to loadout number five, we do have none other than the Krig 6. Obviously, I have the Mythic variant, which definitely is a pay-to-win variant as well. Uh, that makes it a much more substantial weapon to use inside the game. Talking about the, you know, the Gunsmith build, Agency Suppressor, 6.1 Reinforced Heavy Barrel, Aim Assist Laser, Field Agent Foregrip, Fast Extended Mag. I will say that I did find the best barrel. The best barrel to use is definitely the 6.1 Reinforced Heavy Barrel. It gives you a 20% range and I mean boost in bullet, veloc bullet, bullet velocity and 20% range boost as well. So it basically hits home in both areas. You're definitely going to want to use a barrel that's going to give you a range boost and a bullet speed boost and like i said you're going to definitely want to use this specific barrel it does wonders once you get used to the recoil control of this gun it's amazing hits hard absolutely fun to use moving on to loadout number six we do have none other than the kn44 the kn44 definitely deserves to be on this list i think after using it for so long it's a phenomenal weapon i mean after the buffs that it received it just makes it a laser it's so fun to use it's different than using meta weapons and it's a nice non-meta weapon that can actually compete in the current meta so talking about the gunsmith build really quick, we do have the mono suppressor, the OWC Ranger barrel, the OWC laser tactical, the 44 round extended mag, extended mag, and granular grip tape. Phenomenal build. Make sure to use it. Let me know in the comment section down below how this gunsmith build works out for you guys. I've, I've shown this a lot in my videos and it's phenomenal. Moving on to loadout number seven, we do have another than the chopper. Chopper is a phenomenal LMG. It's definitely a staple art LMG. It deserves to be on this list. There's a reason why so many people use it in ranked. And it's because it's so good, it kills you so fast. So moving on and talking about the gunsmith build, we're rocking with the mono suppressor, the chopper infantry barrel, the heavy handle, the RTC laser merc, and disable perk. One staple art attachment that you must have on this is the heavy handle and disable perk. Super pivotal with LMGs and the disable perk. Anywhere you hit enemies, they're it's gonna they're gonna slow be slowed down, and that's substantial um, in the current meta. Moving on to loadout number eight, we are gonna be rocking with the Holger. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the Holger really quick. The Holger, mono suppressor, classic red dot sight, no stock, granular grip tape, OWC laser tactical, phenomenal build, the best gunsmith build to use, period. It has the best accuracy, the best ADS movement speed, the best mobility, best damage output, best range for your buck. Um, everyone uses the same exact gunsmith build and I would not change it otherwise. Moving on to loadout numbers nine. 
I have the LK24 on here. The LK24 is definitely a surprise pick to put on this list. Not a lot of people would agree with me, but trust me when I tell you this gun is phenomenal. Um, you can either go between the LK24 or the AK117. I think the AK117 or the LK24 is definitely really good here. Um, they're both phenomenal. And this is more of a personal preference pick of mine because like, I love the LK and I think after the buffs it received, it definitely deserves a spot because it's just, a, like I said, a nice non-meta weapon to use that can actually compete in the meta. It's very similar to the KN44. So talking about the LK24, right? Mono suppressor, marksman, classic red dot, 40 round extended mag, OWC laser tactical, phenomenal. This thing lasers people like no tomorrow. I promise you to use this. I showcase this exact same gunsmith build in one of my gunsmith videos. And like I said, a lot of people liked it. A lot of people loved using it. They had a great response to it, a great, um, you know, sort of, you know, delegation towards it. And I think it was a phenomenal uh, gun to use. So make sure to go ahead and use it. Talking about loadout number 10. Loadout number 10, I have the Switchblade. Now, this Switchblade is a placeholder. Obviously, it did receive a nerf, but, you know, it's still usable. It's it's one of those guns where it's still usable. But it's glad to see that Call of Duty Mobile basically nerfed this gun to the ground. So that way we can progress throughout the game. So I'm going to talk about the gunsmith build that I used on this one. Mono suppressor, MIP, extended light barrel, OWC laser tactical, extended mag aim, granular grip tape. Phenomenal build. Um, you know, after the, you know, nerfs that it hit, it's kind of, you know, it doesn't really pack a punch, but it's still annoying to play against still, right? So it still has that annoyance. Now, I will replace this gun with the Lapa SMG. The Lapa SMG is a phenomenal gun to use. I think it's phenomenal. The Lapa SMG would definitely be on the spot, but of course it is currently locked and we don't have access to the attachments quite yet currently in this area of the game. But like I said, the Switchblade is a placeholder currently right now for the Lapa SMG. Just know that the Lapa SMG would be in my top 10 list because it's a really good weapon that's going to be coming to COD Mobile. So yeah, but anyways, guys, that's going to be it for the top 10 best loadouts in the current season of Call of Duty Mobile, specifically for season 10. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of these gunsmith loadouts and overall what you guys think of the meta in Call of Duty Mobile. And if you guys have made it towards the end of the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.